are live. Woo! All right. Welcome, everyone, to tonight's epic Battle Royale, where four brave adventurers will be running the gauntlet, uh, a timeless gauntlet that will be told in legends for eons and eons. Um, but first, Hallie has some announcements about the streams and everything. These announcements! Hi, guys! I took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to. Okay, so thank you again. Um, if you've been tuning in or if this is the first time that you've tuned in this weekend, we really, really appreciate it. We are raising money for a wonderful organization called The Trevor Project. They help LGBTQIA plus youth 25 and under uh, dealing with mental illness, uh, working with suicide prevention, finding community resources and general assistance, training allies, and lots of other things. Uh, you can go to at terrible underscore party. Our pin tweet has donation info, active giveaway info. And Seeger, do you want to give them the pitch on the giveaways? <laughs> sorry, she puts rude in her mouth. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our first giveaway, which was the $100 giveaway, is Dice from Dice Envy. Our second is books from the uh, British author James Wilson. Three books, all signed both by him and the author. No, author, the artist. There we are. Uh, the third one, which we got open just a couple of... Uh, it's been a couple hours now, but still... $500, which is a set of uh, like first like, kit for like um, a one shot put together by Murder Hobo Inc., which is awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, we are now $90 away from our next giveaway, which is also our goal. Quite don't quite remember what that thing was. So <laughs> we have more dice. Yeah. I have a DD &D 5e starter kit. And I will throw in bonus dice, uh, which is a uh, there, I have a lot. Uh, if you guys that were donated by at Heartfellas on Twitter, if you can get us to 750 before this game ends, I will throw in extra dice for the winner of that 750 giveaway. So, uh, so thank you to Indigo Chameleon on Twitch and Twitter for sending people over last night who donated a shit ton of money. That's how we got to where we did last night. The, their viewers came and turned out in droves. Uh, we had some really sweet memorial donations made. So just thank you, thank you, thank you for that. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, thank you to our friends Frank and Carrie over at Murder Hobo Inc. and Phil Bar RPG for the wonderful donation. They are also using their 8 p.m. game, Eastern Standard Time, tonight to help drive donations. So if you suddenly see Blake leave, it's because he's going to go play in that one, too. Um, and then or thank you, too. Not because he's lost or something. Not because he's been resounded. Or, or, or one. <laughs> or one. Or oh. one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you to Heartfellas, Dice Envy, J.R. Wilson, Murder Hobo, Philbar RPG, and the folks at the Nerd Asylum uh, who donated our stretch goal of $1,000. If we can get to $1,000, they'll be giving away the deluxe edition of The Chronicles of Exandria Volume 2, which is the second Critical Role art book with the faux leather cover and the gold foil and all the shit. It's amazing. Thank you to our guests. Thank you to Chris for running this and giving me a break. I'm shocked I have a voice. Thank you to Chris Wynn and Genevieve this afternoon for donating a mini for a $50 donation. We got that donation. They're going to be painting a custom mini for Derek. Holy crap. Uh, we have this game tonight. We have two more tomorrow. And then some video game streaming that Chris is going to be doing. It'll be awesome. Let's fucking fight, y'all. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, to war. Other, other thing we can mention that people like me are very happy about is that the giveaway are international. You don't have to live the in the US or Canada. Right. Woo! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Let's fight! All right. Everybody ready to go? Fuck yeah. Yeah. All right. So, it's just another day in the neighborhood. Your characters are just minding their business. Just average day. Whether it be visiting shops, shopping sprees, patrolling the city, doing good vigilante justice to some ne'er-do-wells, delving through dungeons and getting that sweet, sweet loot and XP. When suddenly, 
you feel a fuzz in the back of your head. A sort of static. And it just grows louder and louder until it just encompasses all of your senses and you can't help but wince at the noise. It's just a constant... And you look around as you begin to panic, but it seems nobody around you notices what's going on. Nobody seems to understand the suffering that you're going through. As you try and scream out, nothing is coming from your voice. No, no, there's no signals that you're portraying. It's just normal. And as you look down and try and see if there's maybe something you stepped on, like a trap, you notice that your body starts to sort of disintegrate and dematerialize. Your body and your equipment just sort of vanish. And then your vision fades to black. A loud gong sounds off in your head as you look up and open your eyes. You are in a citadel. And for as far as you can see, there's nothing but fog outside of this ring. The symbols carved into the walls of the citadel look older than time itself and are in strange languages that you've never seen before, you've never come across in all of your travels. And when you look around, you notice there's nobody else here. There's nobody else standing beside you. And there's nobody anywhere. It's just kind of quiet. And as you attempt to call out, no sound is made. And as you attempt to move, you find this force that's just kind of holding you still, as if you're paralyzed, but still in control of your body. You just can't seem to move forward. Um, <clears throat> then, as you focus your gaze towards the two tall spire spires, gotta flip the script, <clears throat> you notice three chairs, atop which are seated these cloaked figures with obscured faces. You hear a booming voice in your head. Welcome, warriors, far and wide, to the Eternal Citadel. Here one will be chosen to become the next Rider of Ruin and Bringer of War. You will test metal in chaos and using it to your advantage to become what you were meant to be. Now go forth into battle and show that you are worthy of the title to bring forth Apocalypse. Another gong sounds. And once again, you look down and you begin to de dematerialize just as you did before. And the next thing you see is nothing but darkness. A void. You're just floating. No senses. No sounds. And then suddenly you kind of snap back as if you blinked an instant of time that felt like an eternity. And when you try and look around, you notice that your vision is obscured, but this time it's not just complete darkness and emptiness as it was before. This time there's something covering your head, something um, obscuring your vision. And it's a dark cloth hood that is covering your head. And in the background, you hear the sounds of battle and war going on. You hear horses crying. You hear, oh, excuse me. You hear swords and shields clattering against each other, metal on metal sounds. You hear shouts and battle, battle cries. Advance, move forward. <clears throat> and you hear trebuchets, catapults, <clears throat> the crumbling of buildings, the burning of fire. <clears throat> And as you begin to kind of gain your senses back, you can feel that your hands and your legs are restrained. And you're having trouble breathing. And you can barely get any air in. And you begin to notice that as you gasp for air, <gasps> you notice that there's a thick rope around your neck. And you can hardly plant your feet flat on the ground. It's as if you're standing on your tippy toes. And then 
Um, just like that, the hood is removed. I need everybody to roll a d6. Five. Four. Six. What'd you get, Blake? Three. Three, okay. <clears throat> and as your vision comes to you, just move this real quick. Okay. You notice that you are in a battlefield. You are surrounded by these machines of war. And you look around and you're standing on a gallow with a rope around your neck. And then in the back of your your head, once again, this same scratching voice. You hear, let the trial of war commence. And the creaking sound of wood ah, as the trapdoor swings underneath your feet and you fall, choking. <clears throat> I need everybody to roll initiative. Ah, awful. Hey. Right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. It's fine. It's fine. Just die here. Mm. It's fine. That's going to be a 10 with a natural 1. Oh my god. That's going to be a 9. Six, That's six, also 9 for me. <laughs> nine. 9! 9! Sam's oh. saying it's a beautiful map, by the way. Where? Oh, thank you. I found it on Imgur, maybe? Mm. I don't know. I found it super last minute. Okay, where is my... What you looking for? Uh, the initiative counter. It looks like a little not... clock. Over on the left-hand side. Clock, 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 Toolbars. clock. Toolbars. Clock. Clock. Yes! <laughs> clock. <laughs> found it. Okay. Uh, stop it. Oh my okay. gosh, this map is huge! So large. I wish I could see it. It's huge, <laughs> Julia. <laughs> it's big. I'll I'll Good describe it once I get some technicality. Yeah, yeah. No bull problem. crap out of the way. Okay, if you guys could add your th add your yeah, yeah. initiatives while I learn how to roll twenty again. I I have a nine for initiative. Like, if you could put that in for me, because okay. I can. Okay. Zero. Got it. I. Can. Yeah, you'll have to give us control of the tokens. Yeah, I don't have control over my tokens. <clears throat> I mean, that was the plan the whole time. <laughs> ah, we did the <laughs> pass the first test. You guys passed the first test. <laughs> God. Yay. All right, Blake, you should have control over yours. Uh, Hallie, you have control over yours. Wonderful, beautiful. I will be controlling Julia, so it doesn't matter. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Sig, you have control over yours. Okay. So Thanks. Technicality is done. We good? So okay. You need to get your number. Uh, like, you know, what? Nope. Put your initiative number in the tracker. Yeah. Or I can. What'd you get? Uh, well, 10 was natural one, so nine. Ten. What? Nine. Are you serious? Gotcha. <laughs> Three of you at nine? Nice. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to kick all y'all's asses. <laughs> all right. It's fine. Let's team up <laughs> on Callie. Because right. she all goes right. higher. First uh, plan. Janara, you're up. Yeah. Six foot two. You're currently dangling from a gallows with a rope around your neck. Tightened. Okay. Mm, hands are free, though. Uh, your hands are bound, and your legs are bound. Hands are bound. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. <coughs> oh, that is not good. Because I need that to cast that. So, can I just try to strong arm my uh, the the 
bonds around my hands. Try to yeah. strong arm man that. Yeah, go ahead and make a strength check. Yeah. See if you can break out of your bonds. Arr, that is a 22. All right, so you're able to... And you hear some... And you're able to tear the rope. And now your hands are free. Muscles rippling, six foot two beast of a woman. Um, <laughs> with weirdly no nose, it's kind of strange. Um, <laughs> she's a Gitsurai. I don't know, man. Uh, okay, Voldemort? Is that my Hulk? Yeah, they're kind of pockmarked. They're strange looking. Um, is that my whole action to do that? Um, yeah. I'd okay. say it took a, a whole action because they're really tight restraints. Fair enough. Um, who's to my. Who's next to me? Um, Blake, you want to describe your character? Uh, there is a uh, very rustic looking uh, uh, half orc or orcish uh, woman with uh, not with with kind of a, a light smile on her face. She looks a little surprised to be here. <laughs> <laughs> just, thanks, for, thanks for having surprise. me. Great to be here, guys. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Is this how we party now? Let's do it. <laughs> but she is in the same position that I was in a minute mm -hmm. ago. Cool. Yep, uh, you are both just dangling by I'm, rope. I'm gonna start trying to get momentum to see if I can if I can just start to use some of my movement to swing. Oh, okay. Just start to pull. Actually, I'm going to try to pull the bar down and use my movement to try to pull the bar down that we're on, and I can finish that on next turn if that's cool. Okay, so your bonus action, you're gripping the rope that you're hanging yeah, from, I'm and you're trying to, to pull like, it down. I'm trying to break the thing that it's tied to, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, so that'll be your turn. Okay. So next, oh, God. Who has the highest dexterity out of you three? Uh, my dexterity is plus one. Okay. Uh, it's two. Two. 18. Ooh. So plus what? Four. Four. Okay, so both of you Whoa. just roll off. Roll a d20. Whoever gets higher goes first. 16. What'd you get, Blake? Oh, six. Six. Okay. So, Sig, you're next. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I have claws. Can I try to use them to rip open, like, cut the things that bind my hand? Um, and around my throat. I'm a yeah, tabaxi. So. Yeah, make a sleight of hand check to see if you could try and get your hands in between and like wiggle your hands around to get to them and kind of like claw at them. Dirty 20? Uh, yeah, that's good. So you're able to like like scratch at them and kind of claw at them and they start fraying yeah. and then that's enough for you to just snap them off. But you are, also, my... hanging. You are also hanging. Yeah, by the neck and choking. that's my entire action. That is your action. So you still have a movement, a bonus action. That's my movement. I'm gonna try and am I can can I try to just like hang like I like get my movement and try and like get momentum to like throw my feet up so I'm hanging upside down instead, trying my feet up on the like uh, thing that's holding up. So like trying to like flip up, kind of like flip up, so, flip up, so that you're so, upside like, not, down. Yeah, so I'm not hanging. I hang by my feet, not by my throat. Um, make a acrobatics check. That's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. No, that's a six. All right, so you go and tr start to, like, swing forward and backwards and get your momentum going. And as you go to, like, swing your feet up, you attempt to grab it, but it just slips out of your paws. And then you just flip back and you <coughs> and you kind of <coughs> choke again. Uh, take uh, two bludgeoning damage as that rope tightens even more around your neck. Hold it. I think that's my action. Is there anything else you wanted to do on your turn? I don't think there's anything else I can do, so no. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, so, Bridget. I would like to say that as soon as I felt that I was going to begin to fall, I would have used a reaction to slow fall. Okay. What is, does that require, like, somatic or... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a monk, uh, tech, uh, just... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So you free fall, so you're just kind of slowly falling, so the rope isn't as tight around your neck as it is, but you are still just kind of hanging there. You haven't hit the ground yet, because the rope's kind of just hanging you there. Right. 
Um, I would like to try to make a sleight of hand check to free my hands. Okay, go ahead. With a that is going to be thirteen. Either he didn't hear you or something. Thirteen. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. So you go ahead and you are able to get those off pretty easily. Um, once you're able to actually visualize them, they're not too hard to get off, but they are just really strongly attached. Okay. And then I would like to try to use my movement now to uh, get a, a, into a sway in which I'm going to try and grab up so that I can actually use my weight to uh break it yeah okay all right so i'll say that you're able to kind of get the motion going and you're kind of starting to reach for the rope to get ready to snap it all right um hazel so yay not julia <laughs> not <laughs> surprise i'm playing as hazel <laughs> oh god we're all gonna die I'm just, I'm just so used to calling you hazel lorelei yeah. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. As I'm hanging there, first I'd like to sigh, probably on the inside on my head since I'm actually choking, because, like, why does this weird shit always happen to me? <laughs> <sighs> All right. Let's just get out of here. And then I'm all shaped into a tiny white spider, and I climb up <laughs> the rope that I was previously choking from. <laughs> all right so Lorelei just wild shapes into a tiny mm -hmm. spider and is on the rope that she's choking from. I have a movement of 20 feet, uh, climb, same for climbing, because I have spider climb, so I'll just cl use that to climb up as high as I can on the rope or on the pole. Okay, the so you, yeah, you're on top of the beam to. that the, the ropes are set on. And currently where you're at in the battlefield, you're in the uh, lower right quadrant of the battlefield, and you're on a gallows shared, right, right. W shared with afternoon nap, which is Sig's character. So you two were side by side on the gallows swinging. And now you're on top of the gallows. And out in front of you, you could see uh, about 20 feet out, you see this dead, decaying horse. About 30 feet out, you see this dead soldier just lying down. Uh, you see this cart of equipment. You see a 20-foot high tower about dead center of this map. Uh, okay. You see a tent over off to the left with a bunch of other, like, it looks like a little campsite over to the left where there's about six tents um, and fires. And there are uh, braziers of fires that are marking all of these stairs. <clears throat> there are also, uh, as you look further north of you, there are these um, barricades meant to, like, keep horses out, really spiked barricades in the form of an X, like, across a row meant to kind of keep okay. cavalry from coming through the camp. And then at the very north end of the camp, there are two catapults and two mm -hmm. ballista positions up there. And you can kind of see the other gallows position. There's one gallows position all the way up to the north, which it doesn't look like there's anybody swinging from it. And then up to the northwest or the upper left, there's another gallows over there, but you can't quite make out what's going on over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm. Now, you know what? I I think I'll just stay put up here on this gallows beam for now in my spider form and, like, see what happens next. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> so, after that, back to the top of the order, and you hear this... Wait a second. <clears throat> Sorry. Gotta get my notes, 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 notes. Next page! All right. So after this, in the distance, <clears throat> you hear this this loud, like, roar, almost, like a beast of a man. And there's just, like, you hear the, the, death, the death cries, um, very similar to the uh, uh, Wilhelm screams, just <laughs> constantly. And it sounds like something big is coming this way, and you hear, like 
the winning of a very strong horse coming this direction. And as at as it's your turn, the rope just snaps and you fall and you land into this pile of viscera and guts beneath you and it just coats you in gore. And it makes this nice like sound as you land. So, uh, Janara, it is your turn. That's me, not her. She's a soldier. I am. I'm free, though, right? Yes, you're. You are. Well, your hands are free. Your your legs are still restrained because you didn't okay. break those. Gotcha. But you're 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 off. But the noose is still around your neck. But you you have fallen. So now you are you are landed on the ground. Okay. Um. Hmm. Is there anything near me that's sharp? Um. Make an investigation check with disadvantage because of all the gore and viscera that you're digging through. I'm already bad at it. That's a mm, 12. So you're able to find like (laughs) some severed limbs, some teeth. I mean, you think maybe I could probably try and cut through it. I don't know. Yeah, I broke it before. I'll just reach down and uh, on the bombs around my legs. All right, go ahead and make a strength check. Uh, that's a 20, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Uh, yeah, so you're able to just huh, and just snap it. Uh, okay, so I have all my movement, right? Yep, you have all your movement. Okay. We're down below or we're still on the this platform? Um, you're down below. You're underneath now. Okay. Underneath that platform that was above you. Ew. Uh, how far up is the opening? About 10 feet. 10 feet? Can I just pull myself up there? Yeah, you could jump, and it'd take, like, a little bit of your movement to jump and pull okay. up there. Okay. So I'll pull up, and when I get to the top, uh, do I see anything coming at us? Or is that noise still off in the distance? The battle seems to be going on off in the distance. It hasn't really gained traction over here. This looks like it, it was a a camp at some point but the war like the battle has gone forward since okay so it's like you guys have been like brought in sorry at like the back end of this battle okay so the the front lines are far off you're not really at the front lines right now got it so yeah i'll go ahead and get up top out of this pit and uh there's a tent here can I, I can make that in 30. I'm going to go for the tent. All right. And I don't have really a bonus action, so that'll be my turn. All righty. Uh, afternoon nap. Mm-hmm. As you're, mm-hmm. you, when you do the little flip, trying to get your paws back around, you land and it chokes you a little bit harder. And then you just hear this and then snap, it falls and the rope breaks and you fall down. And the noose is still around your neck, but you land in this disgusting pile of dead bodies, rotted. Some are bloated like they've been here for a while, and the stench is just unbearable. What are you doing? I think your sound cut out. Yep. I was muted. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, uh, 10 feet up, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to, I have a climbing, climbing speed of 20 feet. So I'm going to use my movement to get up. Okay. Uh, so climbed up on top of the platform there. Can I, do I, do I see that there's movement on the other side of the map or do I have no idea about that? Um, you can make a perception check and try and see. I, yeah, can... I'll make a, make a perception check and see if I can see other parts, like if there's any yeah. movement on the map except for like... Try and get your bearings and see what's going on. Yeah, that is a, um, 17. Okay, so you're not, you're able to see pretty far, but the farthest that you can see is about out to like yeah. here-ish. And... Okay. 
you don't really see much going on. It looks kind of dead. It looks like this is an abandoned like camp besides the person that was hanging with you that all of a sudden just disappeared. disappeared. <laughs> then I'm going to use my movement, my rest of movement um, to get uh, there's a big map so I forget how long. <laughs> there. Uh, I'm not going to lose that. Uh, I'm going to get here. So yeah, I moved like 20, <laughs> 20 feet away from the podium and okay. the spider. All right. Which I don't see, I think. Yeah, Probably. do you even know the spider's there? <laughs> Probably not. You've just seen her disappear. So, and... I saw a person like hang there and disappear, and I'm just like, okay. Yeah, you're like, oh. Let's... <laughs> no, ghost. <laughs> um, is, that, is that your turn? That's my turn. I... Yeah. All right. Bridget. Okay, so am I able to leverage myself to grab a hold of above my neck? Yes. Okay. And you're swinging, so as you grab a hold, and you said you wanted to put weight on it to try and snap it? Well, yeah. Okay, so as yeah, you do yeah, that, yes, the rope also it just kind of and snaps, and you fall down into the same viscera with a smacking sound. And you're just about chest deep in blood, guts, severed limbs. Um, but you are free. The noose is still around your neck. So, I would like to uh, take a seat at the foot of the gallows. All right. And uh, re really observe my surroundings. I uh, especially trying to point out any. Bye. Any what? Sorry, you cut out. Plant life. Plant life. Okay. Um, so as you kind of sit there, how far does this sense go out? Is there a distance that it like limited to? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm having a seat just looking around. Okay, so you're just looking around. So you see some trees dotted the landscape. Um, it doesn't look like there's much grown here because it looks like man has kind of made its way here and cut down what trees there were here or any brush that was here and set up its own instruments of war and its own instruments of chaos as kind of like digging into this environment and using this environment to its advantage. I mean, there's a, there's a tree here. There are some, still some trees, but not too much. And then there's grass, grassy areas around as well. I am going to... A drink of ale. All right. So you take a swig of ale. Yes, which, which I do always have about my personage. All right. So you just take a drink and you're just sitting there taking in the environment and the nature. Oh, baby horrors of war. Yep. Is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn? No. All right. Uh, Lorelei. Um, how far is six character from me? Six character is five, ten, fifteen, twenty feet away from you, uh, just north of you. So if you're okay. looking, if you're looking at that map that I sent you, yeah. where that, yeah, where I'm that, looking. where that horse is, that dead horse is in the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you go down, one, two, three, five, six, down six, and to the right, five. That's where your character is. Okay, cool. Um, You're right there. And then Sig's character is four up and one to the right of you. Okay, that works. Um, okay, what I'd like to do, I'll... Uh, okay, 20 feet, that's enough to just use my movement. I'll uh, get to... Well, okay, I'll, I'll probably run, because then I run as a spider, then I have 40 feet. Uh, I want to, like, sneakily climb onto... I guess like the back of her boot or something, like up her back without her <laughs> noticing me. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a stealth check with advantage. Okay. Just, yeah. Because you are a super small spider and I... I am super tiny. Ooh, that's amazing. Amazing. Ooh, nice. like, this is one of my nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> But is it your character's nightmare? No, that no. Question. <laughs> this there you go. You're great at being terrified could, of spiders. Could, yeah, could you also quickly just describe like your character to me mm -hmm. as in what weapons they're carrying or, or whatever I can see while I look at you with my spider. Um, with my like, I don't know, eight or so spider eyes. With my spider I have, eyes. <laughs> I have a cloak. 
And you can also see like a light crossbow on my hip, and also like a couple of daggers, and a bunch of like uh, pockets for like pouches for bolts. Oh, sweet! Then I'd like okay. So on my stealth check, I rolled a twenty-three. Okay. Because <laughs> I rolled a nineteen in spider crit plus four, and I want to like crawl a bit under her cloak so that okay. I'm not like visible, and okay. I'll I'll just stay there and hitch a ride. Okay. And I don't think, I mean, I don't think that uh, she's noticed you. Actually, afternoon nap, nope. make a... <laughs> nope. Okay. My passive perception is 14. I okay, that's what I was going to ask. That. Okay. No, All right. I'm... So you are oblivious to the also, fact that there's a spider crawling on you. I also have like a bunch of fur. In. Yeah, I have a bunch of fur, fur, and I also have scales. Like, I don't notice this. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I would and like to stay and it's wet crawling on the armor. armor. It's covered in pus and blood and guts. Yeah, yeah. There's probably a bunch of insects around. I don't have like any that. armor. Oh, yeah. Let me oh, notice. Okay. I don't have any armor. So she's naked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have clothes. Inappropriate. <laughs> this is a child-friendly stream. God damn it. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> it, it, I, I'm, I'm the guest here. It, it, <laughs> I hope not. Not if I'm DMing. If I'm DMing, <laughs> sorry. All right. Is there anything else you wanted to do, Lorelei, on your turn? Uh, nope. That's good. That's my turn. All righty. Back to the top of the order, and at the top of the order, you hear the the cries again and the roaring again. And I don't think any of you can really see. Oof. Yeah. So <clears throat> at the top of the order, this guy, if I can just freaking add turn. Oh, no. Roll 20. God damn. Welcome Hold to on. my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my four. Oh dear God. <clears throat> so this this big night. Let me see if I can get a good picture for you guys. Let's see. Here we go. Looks like this. So you see this great big mountain of a being mounted atop this flaming horse with a fiery red hot mane that is just trampling through the battlefield with a ginormous greatsword that is almost scraping the ground as he's riding across on the battlefield. And <laughs> as he just kind of looks over at all of you... Nope, wrong page again. Sorry, look at my notes. All right. <clears throat> you hear this, this really deep... <laughs> is this the test that the Citadel has sent for me? <laughs> Pathetic. I will run through you and continue my will. And uh, he is going to move. Let me pull up his stats real quick. <clears throat> His movement speed of 40 feet riding. He's going to... Ooh. Ooh. So he's going to run up here. And he is going to uh, multi-attack and have two uh, great sword attacks. <clears throat> against Janara. So let me go ahead and roll for that. All right. Oh, that <laughs> one on the first one. Ah, this is the first one. And then plus where's that? Oh my god. <laughs> um 31 to hit? Yeah, that'll hit. All right, so that is 16 slashing damage okay. and 14 force damage. So 30 altogether? Yeah. Got it. And 
And then he uses his bonus action to mad dash. And he is going to dash back. Let's see how far. He's going to dash back this way and off the screen back into the battle. And I'm that's going that on. Means I don't get an attack of opportunity. No, the mad dash is it's kind of like a uh, oh, what's that called? For a road. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what okay. it yeah. Yeah. It's a legendary action. Got it. <clears throat> All right. So now, Janara, it's your turn. Uh, I should have asked this before. Am I armed? Yeah, you have all your equipment. That was not made evident. Um, I, you didn't <laughs> ask. I didn't take anything from you. I'm not a thief. Okay. Everybody has all of your equipment on you. It dematerialized with you and rematerialized with you as well. Okay. And he's gone. Uh, he's not gone. He just rode back off into soldiers, and you see people just like flying, and Wilhelm screams and fire. Uh, yeah, I will. Uh, well, I will. Bonus action. I'll take a healing potion because I have a few of those that I bought. Okay. And then I want to dig through this tent right in front of me as my action. Oh, okay. Go ahead and make an investigation check. Sure. That is a. Uh, 13. 13, alright. So, as you scour through this tent, you find two cots set in here. It looks like it's really close quarters, as if this is like a soldier's barracks kind of thing. Like, they were just trying to fit as many people as they can into, like, small areas. And it's really not accommodating. It's, um, uh, more like, um, well, I guess it's like barracks, you know, they're just, they're just there. It's just to rest. There's nothing like, um, there's nothing fancy about them. Okay. Um, so as you're, as you're crawling through this, uh, let's see, you are able to find, let's see. So you find a potion of healing. Uh, 20 crossbow bolts okay. uh, that you sense these crossbow bolts have like something about them. You're not sure. Okay. And you find some oil. Fun. And it's, it's really goopy and like slick oil, but you're not, you're not too sure what it, what it does. Okay. Um, I will take all of that. Okay. And move. These are braziers over here? Yeah. Okay. Those are braziers, and they seem like they're just constantly lit. Okay. As if, like, some spell of, like, uh, everlasting fire was cast on them just to kind of provide a light. Okay. Sorry about that. My roll 20 crashed. Oh, you're fine. Okay. No. Uh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. It just decided to be a dick. I'm going to start heading toward the tower in the middle. Okay. So I will move... 40 feet in that direction. And that will be my turn. All right. All right. So that's the end of your turn. So, afternoon nap is your I'm turn. I'm guessing I saw the rider. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah, you probably did. It's, yeah, it's a big like, fiery horse. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hard to miss. So it also start kind of running shouting. that direction. And I'm going to use my tabaxi ability, which makes Double my movement. So I'm also Whee! gonna <laughs> I'm also gonna dash as my action. Which means I'll be is it hundred and twenty then? Well you have what forty feet movement I have speed? Th uh, thirty feet movement speed. And then if Tabaxi I... swiftness adds That that doubles. Doubles um, it, so that's sixty, so it'd be hundred and twenty can... feet. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can double your speed until the end of the turn. Okay, so I so only you're... have to stay like on the same spot for the entire turn. Gotcha. Later. Okay. 
So, so you've got about 120 feet of movement. But you're going to be um, exhausted after that sprint. Actually, no. But yeah. I mean, I would. Uh, yeah. I'm already <laughs> I'm winded just thinking see, about it. I now, now see how long that is. So I won't dash as my action. I'll Aww. just run Aww. here over to the... It's still 60 feet. Uh, it's just I'm gonna run over. So you don't have to. Cart. You don't have to dash as your action. You could just use your tabaxi thing. Yeah, I'm just using the tabaxi thing to like All right. double. And so I'm you still have your action, right? I still have my action, and I'm gonna search this this cart. All right, go ahead and roll a investigation check on the cart. Natural twenty. Oof. Woo. All right. Well. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me again. You find a potion of greater healing, a tan bag of tricks, a potion of fire breath, mm. and a spell scroll. You're not sure what it has on it yet, unless you want to open it and look at it. Can I do that in my... Do I have time to do that? You can use a bonus action to unfurl it and kind of make a quick check to see if you can like, make I'll a quick that. arcana check. So go ahead and make a quick arcana check with disadvantage because you're just quick glancing at it. I already have minus one. Uh, oh. That's a two. I have no idea. So you have no idea. You, you know it's a scroll. You, you get a sense of like... Mm, uh, it looks like uh, evocation maybe. So And then you put it back. Or you put it, like, you, then you put it away. So, yeah. you have a sense that it might be evocation magic, you just don't know what the hell evocation it is. Yeah. So, alright, is that all your turn? That's my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Bridget. So, I'm going to use 40 of my 45 movement speed to come to this tent here. And have a peek in, in that one. Alrighty, make an investigation check. Okay. Four. A four? Okay, so you find two uh, potion of healings, and you find five unbreakable arrows. Okay. And that's all that you can find in this. It looks like some of the chests are open and there's not much left in there. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to kick the stent, the pole out of this tent. I'm going to try and break that tent. Okay. So <laughs> you're able to just like kick the tent down and it just kind of collapses on itself and just goes. Foom. It just falls flat. So I, chuckle still... I, I, I chuckle a little bit. <laughs> and you just see the cots kind of like poking up out of the canvas because the cots are still kind of set up. So the canvas is just laying on the cots and the chest that were in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else you want to do on your turn? I think that's about it. All right. Lorelei. So you, you are on the back <laughs> of afternoon naps. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a nice ride. Um, yeah, and you see I, her yeah. kind of pilfering through this this cart that's full of different equipment, and you see her pull out a bunch of different equipment from the cart. Right. Um. Do, wh where did you put the spell scroll? Afternoon. Uh, in a pouch, I'm guessing. Yeah, just like look at it and then just in a pocket somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if if I saw her do that, could I like make my way to the spell scroll and like kind of like crawl into the spell scroll to like see if I can read it? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> can I do that? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to make another stealth check as you kind of crawl your way into okay. the pocket. With advantage or normal? Uh, normal this time. Okay. Oh, that's only a six. <laughs> only a six. All right. <laughs> So you, you're able to crawl in there, and yeah. afternoon nap, you feel something kind of just like 
like moving in your pocket. You're not sure what it is. It could be the wind. Um, so you're in her pocket, and you see yeah. the spell. You see the spell scroll. Yeah, can I look at the spell scroll? Yeah, you can. Uh, uh, make arcana an arcana check. Yeah, arcana check. Okay. Ooh, that's just a nine. What's just wrong with these nine. nines? Yeah, yeah. So you're also not sure. It's going to take you a little bit more time to read through it. Mm. Um, but if you, I'd say on your next turn, if you're still reading it, you'll be able to, to like have an advantage on that Arcana check. Mm. All right, that works. Let's let's see let's see how after it reacts to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'll stay the, here. the end of your turn. That's, yeah. <laughs> All righty, Janara. Mm, and I don't see fucker who hit me before. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking rage. Let's do it. Um, Janara, when she rages, it's not a typical barbarian rage. It's a celestial rage, so she actually grows iridescent wings for a second. Oh, yeah, bitches, you thought I was bringing a regular barbarian? No, eat it. (laughs) 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 Uh, I don't do anything normal. Uh, And then I am going to run over here frothing at the mouth, and <clears throat> dump the oil. These are crates, right? Yeah, they're dump crates. Dump the oil on the crates and fucking light it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I <I'm> run away. <laughs> All righty. So you dump the oil on there. Yep. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. You got it. Let's get some shit going here. <laughs> And I have advantage on anything that I can see uh, because of danger sense if it presents danger to me. So uh, 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 that is a 18. Okay. So you pour out the oil and you notice that it's it's <laughs> way more viscous and slippery than normal oil. And you're like, what is this? And so as you, you like pour it out and you take a torch or what have you, and you begin to light it, and then as you turn around to try and bolt away, you kind of like, like Flintstone scramble <laughs> as the the oil of slipperiness underneath yes. you. But you're able to get your traction. But I'm gonna say for the first like ten feet okay. or so, you have half movement. Okay, so so just for a little bit, you have half movement. All right, so let me just make sure because that was twenty to get there. Uh, so I have ten more feet. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Does it light on fire at the very least? Uh, yes, I'm yes. looking for I'm looking for fire. Oh, there's we have gone through this several times with you all. We just did this morning because you guys lit a tree on fire. Uh, Sam is in the chat. I think that is a thing. I will. I I know. I think Sam, it's your fault. Um, and nice. And yeah, I'm gonna uh do that and. Not do that as a bonus. I'm just checking, making sure. Cool. I'm good. All right. So, as these these crates start to go up um, <laughs> faster and faster. Uh. I need, oh shit, wrong button. I need, okay. I need Janera, Lorelei, and Sid to make a dexterity saving throw as you hear this and then you hear a boom! Fuck. As these hey. crates of dynamite just yes! exploded. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a little spider. <laughs> um, this is my, my dexterity ever. Sixteen. Uh, Eight. Sixteen. Oh, Eight. fuck the dark four. <laughs> <laughs> the druid said, "Fuck a duck." <laughs> Let it be known. I prefer the term interspeciality because it sounds like a pencil. 
I mean, oh, yeah. if I can turn into a duck, is it interspecies? <laughs> Let's not go down. Look, we're here to fight a battle, all right? All we've been doing is weird shit. Let's all right, do so, it, right? Right? <laughs> so, Janara, you saved. You were able to duck out of the way and jump. So you take seven force damage from the explosion. Force not piercing or bludgeoning? Yeah. Force not piercing or bludgeoning. And two fire damage <laughs> from the scraps of exploded crates <laughs> that are just been <laughs> shrapneled into the air. And Lorelei and Afternoon Naps, you take 14 force damage and two fire damage. I... <laughs> So I turn back in the afternoon's pocket. <laughs> Wait, in my pocket? Yeah. Okay, well, sorry, sorry. Two fire and 14 to so 16. So it's 15 because the spider has one hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <clears throat> <laughs> That's the stupidest thing. I love it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um... <laughs> Ah, oh, they did a lot of damage. <laughs> so, yeah. afternoon naps, it's your turn. You, uh, uh, <laughs> suddenly, what? there's this giant, like, druid thing I... that just ripped out of your pocket. Now this you're naked. humanoid just appeared out of your pocket. You're like, uh... <laughs> not to uh, mention, you're a little, you're a little, you got yeah. mild, like, tinnitus going on. You're like, wee in your ears from the explosion that just happened in front of you. Lorelai just looks up at you and says, I do apologize for the convenient inconvenience. I can help you fix your clothes later. I oh. do. I am terribly sorry. Fine. Um, this question. Uh, does a cantrip count as a spell? It does, right? Does a cantrip count yeah. as a spell? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Because then I'm going to cast Firebolt at the person who just set fires to everything. All right. Uh, Phew! Right. Thank God. <laughs> and I need to read stuff because <laughs> not the weird thing that just appeared from your pocket. That's fine. Now I, I was very polite about it. Fuck that <laughs> asshole. Uh, Firebolt is ranged, not melee. Come and on. I want to do something. Yeah, I think a um, twenty-six. Does that hit you, Janara? Uh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, and because I'm a brass dragon sorcerer, uh, I'm gonna add my crystal modifier to one of the damage rolls. So I'm just gonna try to. Uh. <laughs> That's ones. Uh, two ones. Yay. So you get. Um, oh, math. Take six points of fire damage, <laughs> and I'm gonna use one sorcery point to make myself resistant to fire damage for an hour. There you go. And I, I take I just, while I was doing this. I take half your damage, by the way. Oh, suck Hunter? it, secret! Let's go. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All that shit talking we did on Twitter. It's going down. It's going uh, down. I fed him. Yeah, that's my that's my turn. Oh, I'm 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 also Yeah, that's my turn. Stay there okay. so I can dash later. All right. Bridget. Okay. I just heard so... this loud explosion go off over here in the middle of the battlefield while you were <laughs> knocking down a tent and giggling. <laughs> Enjoy the tent more. <laughs> I'm going to come out over here to this tree stump and I'm going to look down and do I see that sword? Yeah. It's so just laying it there. Alright, you pick it up. It's just a common long sword. So. Uh, six... chuck a little bit. I chuck a little bit again. We're up to 680, you guys. Woo! Woo! 680. All right, so you chuckle a little bit as you pick up this sword. It looks like this sword has seen some battle. It's got some nicks in it, and it's covered in mud and not really in the greatest condition. Looks like it's been sitting there for a while, starting to kind of rust. 
to hold on to that. All right. And I'm going to feed a movement. I'm just going to come about over here. And I'm going to keep breath in and engage my patient defense. Okay. All right, so you just take sort of a defensive pose as you stand there. Is there anything else you want to do with your turn? All right. Lorelei, you just Yay. dropped your spider form while in the pocket of afternoon nap. I'm guessing that scroll, scroll fell out. Uh, yeah, anything that was in that pocket probably fell out. It's no longer a pocket. <laughs> yeah. Um, so now you're just standing there next to her uh, by the cart. Right. And she just, did, uh, how far is uh, Janara from us? Um, let me see. Uh, 30 feet away, or 25 feet away from you. Just past the cart, 25 feet away from you to the northwest. <laughs> And directly north of you, about 20 feet, is a pile of charred and burning crates that had uh, the dynamite in them. Right. Okay, so there was a big explosion, and then one of the other people said another person on fire. Hmm. I mean, do do I have a sense that this is like a battle to death? Like, like did they announce that at the beginning? Like... I'm just thinking, like, what Lorelei's motivation would be to like attack one of the other two people. <laughs> I think you ha you have an idea that this is some sort of tournament, um, and yeah. you know that it's some kind of combat tournament, combat based tournament, because um, they said the the chosen one will be yeah uh, will be given the rights to ride ruin. So you know that it's kind of like a an elimination thing. Um, and yeah. you heard war and battle. So there were a lot of phrases that kind of ping the fact that, okay, this is a battle. This is probably only one person going to win. So The only yeah. one. <laughs> there okay, can okay. only be one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not, I'm not going to attack the backseat because she was so lovely and gave me a ride. And I ruined her clothes, so that's terribly rude. Uh -huh. Um. So, well, that only leaves one target. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hurl an ice knife at Janara. <laughs> right. it's, a, it's a spell uh, attack with range. Uh, one second. Okay. Uh, character sheet. Uh, da, 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 plus six. Uh, 18 to hit? Not misses. Oh. Um... Wait, do I lose the target in each creature? Okay, but hit or miss the shot. Like, it's like a throwing, like, shard of ice that shoots towards you and it misses, but hit or miss the shard then explodes. The target and each creature within five feet of the point where the ice exploded must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. Got it. What's your DC? Um, 14. 14. Uh, that is a, ah, it's a 13. Ooh, so you take 2d6 cold damage. Oh, double ones, that's just two point of cold damage. I only take one! <laughs> <laughs> uh, because you're resistant to it? Because I am resistant to magical damage, bitches. Oh, but, but, <laughs> but, I mean, I mean, it's, Oh, wait, 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 sorry, I just, I was ready to admit. Okay, fuck off. But I have to feed Elemental Adept, and I ignore resistance to cold damage, and anyone rolled on damage for cold damage becomes a two, so that's four points of cold damage. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, take, so take, take that, that four points. Um, okay. Right. A song uh, of fire and ice. <laughs> Oh wow! <laughs> oh. No. Um, what what's next to what's close to me besides the burning crate? Uh, so the burning crates, the cart is right in front of you. Uh, the tents, there are some tents and a big tent down to the left. Uh, How far away are those? From where you came, um, those tents are about forty-five feet from you. 
Mm. Is there, is there anything I could like duck behind to take cover that's close There's by? a tower that's 25 feet to your right. There's okay, a then... tree that's about 15, 20 feet uh, to the south, like behind you. Mm, okay, then I'll go like be as much behind the tower as I can in regards to Jinara's position. Okay, what's your movement speed? Uh, 30. 30, okay. Yeah, so that'll put you just up on the other side of the tower. Yeah, right. that works. <laughs> okay. End of turn. End of turn. All right, oh, Janara. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll, oh. I'll use a bonus action to just take a healing potion myself. Okay. That I have on me. Okay. Thank you. All right, Janara. Okay. It's your turn. You're getting uh, targeted by two people. It's okay. I want to just uh, shout out real quick to Janice for donating $20. Janice, I left comment on the Trevor Project page, and I sent a tweet out. If you can email your address to us at smallterribledragonborn at gmail.com, we will get you your dice. Yes. Woo! 6, 680, you guys. Yay. We are on our way to 750. All right. Now let's fight. So, uh, I am going to... Now let's to, fight. No, let's do this. I'm going to run this way, and I'm going to chug a healing potion while I do it for my bonus. And then... Uh, uh, that's not too bad. Okay. Better than it was. And then um, I'm going to reach out and cast Chaos Bolt Ooh. at Lorelei and Afternoon Nap <laughs> because it's twinned. It's a twinned spell. Uh, so I'm going to burn an Ancestry point and do that. So I have to roll against you guys. So on Lorelei, that is a 25 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Natural 19. And on afternoon nap, that is a 17. Ha ha, missed this. All right. So... I have armor. <laughs> oh, I have <laughs> uh, armor uh, class. Uh, 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 hold on. I have to... This is a little bit of a fidgety spell. Uh, so that is going to be force damage to Lorelei. Yes. For... Ooh. Uh, 16 points of force damage to you. Yikes! And I get HP back because I'll cast a spell. Okay. That is all I'm going to do. All right. <clears throat> Afternoon nap. It's your turn. I'm going to uh, drink that greater healing potion. What is a greater healing potion again? <laughs> like 2D6, how many? 2d6 plus 4, right? Two, uh, 44 plus 4. 44 plus 4. And... 4, 4, 4. That's right. Dead. R. Hey, that's, that's more health. Uh, that's good. Uh, that was my bonus action, and that's my... Main action, I'm gonna cast Chromatic Orb uh, at the uh, uh, at the at the druid that just left my range. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and I'm <laughs> gonna use uh, fire damage. So uh, I need to. Just... I haven't used this before. Okay, range spell attack. So. Nope. That's a one. Dead misses. I think a one misses. <laughs> <laughs> so does it does it have any other effects or anything or? Uh no, you just choose and if the attack it doesn't say anything that happens if the attack misses just Okay. If it hits. It's a level one spell. Alright. And anything else you want to do on your turn? I think you can move this turn because you stood still. I can. I, I couldn't move last turn too. I just couldn't double run if gotcha. I. Uh, I think I'll just. Uh, I'll move. 
I'll move to the other side of this, like a close close to the brazier on the other side of the tower from the druid. Okay. Closer from the barbarian? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> All right. Um, Bridget, it is your turn. I am going to use 45 movement to come to about here. I am going to uh, expend an, a key point with my step of the wind. Ash as a bonus action. I might leap. <laughs> and upon doing that, to attack twice uh, unarmed. It's going to be for the first one a, a 7 22. That'll hit. And the second one is a 4 plus 7, so 11. That misses. You take from that first hit. Uh, plus four ten damage okay. and because you took that I am going to again use my open hand technique to force you to make a x15 save dexterity okay yes got it That is a natural 18 plus 1, 19. Okay, then you're not pushed pushed towards the cards. Okay. <laughs> so we're just like right on top of each other. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, there's a lot more I'd like to do, but I think that wraps up what I can do. All right. <laughs> Uh, Lorelei, you're on the opposite side of the tower of afternoon naps and about yeah. 70 feet off in the distance you see uh, two people just kind of fighting. One one just jumped on, on top of the other and landed a punch right in the face. No. Uh, all right, Daisy busy. Uh, the most immediate threat um, would be the cat person um, who hold magic stuff at me. All right, I'm going to cast hold person on afternoon. That's a wisdom saving throw. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> what? I missed. <laughs> I missed throwing magic stuff at you. I didn't. Yeah, that's a sick. Yeah, it's a 14. So you are parallel. And at the end of each of your turn, you can make another saving throw. Can you... What can I do in a paralyze? Like nothing? Yeah, I think. Yep. Really nothing? Maybe, like, I don't think you can even. Can you talk when you're paralyzed? Uh, I don't know. Google this. I, I think the official ruling is you can talk, but you can't do anything somatic. Yeah. Okay, so you're stuck, so I'm gonna try to get out of here. Um, um, can I? You can't take actions or reactions. You automatically fail strength and dex saving throws. Any attack rolls against you have advantage. Any attack that hits is a critical hit if the attacker is within five feet of you. That's um. the that's the paralyzed condition. Yep. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, hmm. Where should I go? I'm not doing so well. Um, 
<laughs> no, you know. Oh wait, no, I can't do it anyway. Okay, um, I'm right now. I'm just gonna use my movement to like get away from there uh, as far as I can. My thirty feet. Um, okay. To no, the map went. Where do you want to head? Do you want to yeah. head towards the tents in the south? Yeah, I'll head the... towards. I'll head towards the tents. Okay. As far 30... as I can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we'll put you over behind this rock. Yeah, that's okay. good. All right. That's the end of your turn. Yep. Uh, I'll chuck another healing potion as a bonus action. <laughs> okay. Janara, okay. you are currently being punched by a half orc woman. Uh, I've been hit by harder. Come on. Uh, and then I'm going to use Transcendent Legacy. Just grinning. Just grinning <laughs> like, like sloth. Uh, <laughs> are you just in the head? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to use my Transcendent Legacy and give my Glaive Radiant damage instead of traditional slashing damage. So it's right. considered a magical weapon for an hour. Uh, and then I'm going to... So that burns that. And then I'm going to take two attacks uh, with the Glaive on Bridget. Dice. Where are the dice? Ah! That is a 20, dirty 20. I can't see the dice. And a 17. Uh, the dirty 20 hits. Got it. So that is... Uh, plus the rage damage. Um, 17 points of radiant damage. And then I'm going to use Polearm Master to spin the glaive around as a bonus action and pop you with the handle of it. Okay. That is a natural 20. Okay. Uh, so that is, that does a lot less damage. It's just like I'm trying to beat you upside the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> so two on the D4, four plus eight, 12. 12 bludgeoning. Okay. Um, and that's all I can do. Okay. All right. Afternoon nap. I think you're muted again. I was muted again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and say it again since I can't. I can't do anything else. Uh, that is a 21. Yeah, that saves. That saves, and that's my turn. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Alright, Bridget. Okay. To produce from somewhere under my robes a great club. It's down upon you twice. <laughs> <Let's do it>. <laughs> <laughs> that is a 12 plus 7, so a 19. Misses. And an 18 plus 7, a 25. I'm going to use my reaction to cast shield, which makes my AC. Nope, still won't hit. That'll hit. It'll still count. <laughs> okay. Had to map and then... there for a second. Upon that, I will expend a key point to make two unarmed strikes with blows. That is a 14. Misses. And a 19. Misses. Just the one? Just the one, yep. Okay, that is going to be four. Uh, bludgeoning, so this is going to be nine. Okay. And I'm going to expend another key point to make you make a con 15 save. Okay. Um, I have advantage on that. That is a 17. Okay. 
see. Well, and since that didn't work, I'm still going to use my open hand technique to attempt to push you another 15 feet away. Two, Monks three. are ridiculous. Yes, monks are ridiculous. <laughs> They're a little OP. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a dex <laughs> Dex save, got it. Uh, that is a, oh no, I failed. That was a two. Okay, then you are pushed 15 feet. Okay. In a certain a, direction or? It's a, uh, it's a uh, northeast or, yeah. Northeast? North, no, 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 east, straight oh, east. East, straight east, got it. 15, okay. You do not get an attack of opportunity. Got it. And I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to just stand there. All right. <laughs> uh, Lorelei. Yay! You are what? hiding behind a rock. Uh, yeah. you, you see two barbarian, or well, you see a barbarian going at it about 40 feet away from you. Um, the tabaxi is still behind that tower. And you see a half orc woman about sixty feet away from you as well, and you're behind uh, a rock. Okay. Um, what's the weather looking? The weather is looking uh, partly cloudy, with a chance of fiery horsemen. All right. So it's not stormy weather, or is it? No, not really stormy. Uh, just kind of overcast. All right. Can I tell my well, liver? Can I tell my limerick? Oh god damn it! Okay, wait. Give Blake a second. Now go go for it. <laughs> Once was a man from High House who had balls that were made out of brass. When he'd rub them together, they'd play stormy weather and lightning would shoot out of his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Jesus. <laughs> and now, topically appropriate, I'll cast. <laughs> <laughs> Not out oh, from no. my life. You'll cast lightning ass. <laughs> no, that's level spell. I don't have oh, that yet. Gotcha. Yeah. Um all right, so a storm cloud appears up in the air. Uh can I can I see wait. Well but hmm. Can I hit the tabaxi with my lightning? I know where she's at. Am I uh, I don't how far okay. away can it be? Uh, I mean, the range is 120 feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you could probably like... hit her. She's pretty open to the sky. All right. Oh, yeah. And it's it's a dexterity saving throw. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Um, uh, 24. Oof. All right, so that succeeds, but you still take half damage. Yeah. So that's um, 3d10. Uh, that's 20 points of damage, so half to 10 <laughs> points of lightning damage. Fun. <laughs> okay, and... Um, right, um... And yeah, and I'll move further away with my to, uh, 30 feet. Uh, once again, somewhere like behind cover, preferably. Okay, um, towards towards the tents towards, again. Towards the tents, yeah, sure. Okay, so you'll move right here behind these boxes. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. That's my turn. All right. And, and the storm cloud's still up in the sky. Storm cloud is still up. You're the crackling <laughs> thunder and lightning. And once again. Very, very frightening. Ooh. Oh, no. We gonna die. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. The horseman returneth. Uh, yeah, the the horseman returneth. <laughs> so this time, coming from this bottom area, at bottom. We're all twelve here. It's gonna ride up here. I'm the child. Right up here. <laughs> and he is going. Oh no, wrong character sheet. All right, here we go. 
Uh, oh shit, is anybody in range? Mm. Okay. And he's just gonna stand there. Just riding up. So. Or he could dash. Should he dash? I think he should dash. He's gonna dash. Alright. So he rides up in between you two. And that's his turn. Doesn't have a bonus action. Um, uh, actually, yeah, he's going to right up here. Right there. There we go. And he is going to use a legendary action to make an attack with his greatsword. So let me roll that. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, so thirty to hit. Uh, that misses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, you will take fourteen slashing damage and ten force damage. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> okay. And that is the end of his turn. So, Janara, it is your turn. The fiery horseman that had hit you before and rode off back into battle is back, riding through with his horse. Mm, fucker! <laughs> fucker! <laughs> yeah, I, am. Uh, I am... Oh, God. Okay, let me see who I can... Okay, so I can see afternoon nap, and I can kind of see Lorelei, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was just trying to get, trying to get placement on the map here. <laughs> yes, you could kind of see her. She's behind boxes, so she has cover. Okay, so she would um, see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I bet this guy has reach. Okay, so I am going to... Yep, I'm going to I'm gonna burn a bonus action, drink another healing potion, and then I have reached two, bitch. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what did I ever do to you? This is what I play barbarians for, so I can I can release some built up anger. <laughs> I have reached two, bitch. <laughs> Pretty much. So I'll that's choke cool. a bitch. I, don't give uh, a fuck. I will. I will go ahead and take my glaive to him twice. Love the glaive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and it is considered magical weapon, and it has. And I'm gonna take it reckless. Ooh. So that is a 22 to hit on the first. That one hits. And second with advantage. That is a 23 to hit. That hits. Okay. I don't think I'm actually going to do anything to this guy. I'm just pissed. So, <laughs> <laughs> is just raging and frothing at the mouth and angry and bringing a giant just shiny mad. glaive at him. Yeah, it is all Rawr. radiant damage. Um, it's all radiant? It's radiant. So that is 20 okay. radiant on the first and 19 radiant on the second. All right. And then I'm going to, uh, nope, I did bonus action to that already. So I'm good. I'm going to stay there. All right, so you take your glaive and you slash up at this horseman. Um, and it looks like you put some damage on him. Uh, but, I mean, again, this is like a, a otherworldly creature or some kind of, like, devilish creature that looks like it was just born for battle. So, yeah, you put a couple more cuts on it, but it looks like he's already covered in scars and cuts. And it looks like his skin itself is his armor. It doesn't look like he's wearing armor as much as he is armor. Ooh. Um. All right. So afternoon nap. Your turn. Ah, oh, don't we have a nice like twenty foot radius here, where everyone except me is included? Eggs. Hey, eggs. Just cast a little fireball. Like fireball. Fireball. I like. It's like nice here, so it gets everyone. 
All right. So everyone needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Let's do it! It's a natural one. Oh, no! <laughs> Somehow I'm guessing the monk saves with a 16 plus 7, 23. I got a 18. It's a 15. Okay. So, yeah. But yeah, still take half damage. And that is 26 plus 4, so 30 points of fire damage. Oof. Well, I'm out. The monk. I'm done. Oh, no! <laughs> I am, I am also down. Ah! Oh shit! I am Victor. The storm but, goes away. But I am going to use my relentless endurance. Yes. Yeah. And I'm want. going to use nothing. I'm going to use I'm just, nap. I'm going to use unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're unconscious. You're not oh yeah, dead. you're unconscious. You're roll twenty. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I could still totally turn this around. You could. Oh, my beautiful uh, storm goes away. All, all, all flammable objects in the area that isn't being worn or carried is now set ablaze. Oh, cool! Now so I have to get more fire. The boxes next to me are set on ablaze too. And the tent. <laughs> that is and toasty. Everything in this area. Everything's burning. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. Um. I'm not sorry. Sorry, not At sorry. All. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, I think that is... Oh, and then I'm gonna spend my movement to just, like, walk behind the tower. <laughs> so I have cover. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh This is insane. Uh... Fire. Fire. Oh, jeez, Louise. Fire. amazing. <laughs> Fire. <laughs> Fire. Fire. Sam, if you're watching, this is for you. Fire. Fire. For those who don't know, Sam plays a tabaxi druid named Lost Marble in our regular game, and Marble has a problem with fire. <laughs> Shit's also, on fire, Sam yo. is, like, my best friend, so, like... <laughs> It's not just Lost Marble who's obsessed with fire, I'm just gonna true. say. She did light a match on stream this morning, you guys. <laughs> just... Oh my god. <laughs> you have to it's not the first time I've seen her do that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, is, uh, is that your turn? <laughs> That's my turn. <laughs> I, I moved. I've set fire to things. That's my turn. Alright, very accomplished. Alright, Bridget. Hey. I am. Uh, move past the horseman, extending a key point to the wind to be able to disengage. Okay. Uh, and I am going to come back and I am going to uh, to again deliver another flurry of blows. Two great club attacks and two unarmed attacks. The first great club is 17. Misses. The second one is 18. Misses. And the unarmed is 19. Misses. And nine. <laughs> <laughs> I come over and just. <laughs> misses. Misses. <laughs> That's that's all I got. <laughs> that was the most amazing thing. <laughs> it's just like I have one hit point. Oh god. <laughs> There's just fire everywhere. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention the horseman's horse leaves like fiery footsteps. Ah! Right. Oh. Oh god. No. Well, there you go. Now it looks accurate. <laughs> all right. Uh, is that is that? All you can do, Bridget. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's, that's it. <laughs> that's your <laughs> no. 
All right. Are you still giggling? That's the important question. With every miss. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. All right. All right. Uh, Lorelei. I'm on the ground burning. And I'll make a death saving throw. 14. First one is success. All right. And that's my turn. And that's your turn. All right. Back to the top of the round. It is the horseman's turn. Hey, that's not nice. (laughs) Oh, God. So you're trying to get me? Maybe. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Huh? Huh? I think I can do this. All right, so he's going to move there. He's going to sprint across in between both of you, taking opportunity attacks. Natural 19. 27. One. No. <laughs> that one misses. The The... Other one, what was it? 23? 27. 21. Oh, 27, that one hits. You had a 21? Oh, okay, I thought you said one. 21. You cut out. Okay, 21. So, 21 misses, 27 hits. Uh, that is math, because I'm raging. 13 points of radiant damage. 13? Mm-hmm. All right. And... All enemies within 50 feet must make a wisdom saving throw. 50? Yep. Yep. Oh my god. 50 feet. Natural 20. Damn it. You're not going to take me this time. That's fine. Wisdom saving throw. That was a nat 20. You had a nat 20? God damn it. Okay. Uh, 17 for me. All right. So, Janara, <laughs> you see uh, the horseman like raise his greatsword in the air, and this energy just pulses out. And it seems to be beckoning you as if a challenge has just been made. And for your next turn, you have to spend your next action making melee attacks against the horseman. And you, the other two saved, so. Okay. So you guys, nothing happens. You just see this. So and I have to let spend me. My, my action doing that, right? Yeah, you have to spend your action. Your action has to be spent using a melee attack against him. Got it. So. Uh, and then. Let me see if this is enough. Probably not. Nope. Okay. That's the end of his turn. Okay. So, so Janara, your turn. Right. So I have to move to him and can I, is my bonus action my own or? Yeah. Just okay. your action. All right. So I'm going to uh, bonus action, take another healing potion and take my second to last one. That's better. That's much better. Uh, And then I'm going to move and take the attack of opportunity from Bridget. Yep. That is going to be a 15 plus 7, 22. That will hit. Actually, I take that back. I will use my reaction and cast shield, so it makes my AC 25. Can you use a reaction to a reaction? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. Hmm. So that burns. I that. think I've done it before. You have, yeah. I just didn't know if that's what the house rule on that. But one. do you guys have your reactions? So did you use your reactions when he ran away, or is it because it's a new turn and we all have them back? Oh yeah, you guys both used your reactions for that, right? For what? Attacking for the him opportunity when he ran away. Oh, that's right. Thank you. There we yeah. go. That was it. Never mind then. So that does so none of you. 
No, he doesn't hit because he doesn't attack. He does like right. both of you attack. He him. doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't attack because he doesn't have a reaction. <laughs> I know he you have a reaction. Used it to opportunity attack. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to hit this guy twice. Wait. Uh, what was my other reaction? The opportunity attack against the horseman. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. yeah okay. That, I did the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. This is why this is a cooperative game, kids. <laughs> it's very confusing. <laughs> it's very confusing sometimes. I so, counter your counter. No, you yeah, counter my counter. I countered though. You didn't dick. Oh, Nobody no. counters my counter except me. <laughs> okay, so that first one is a 21 to hit. That misses. Okay, and then the second one is a not any better. It's a dirty 20. All right, that misses as well. So you go with your glaive and you scrape against his skin and it's just hard as rock and you just lay a few scratches into it but doesn't really do anything to him. Okay. Um, all right, and you already used your bonus action and everything, right? I used my bonus action to take a potion and most of okay. my movement. All right. Uh, afternoon nap. It's your turn. I got you covered, Blake. I'm going to move over here and you guys haven't learned anything so you're still in a 20-foot radius. Not... Actually, not all of you, not Lorelai, but all the other three Yay! have to roll a deck save I did again. It, guys. Because I'm casting another fireball at you. Uh, Thank you for excluding me. All of us. <laughs> Thank okay. you for excluding me. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you're you're, you're so welcome. exclusive. That is a, a deck How save. How dare you? Uh, 18. Deck save. 18? Uh -huh. Except. And I'm going to use. Oh, no, wait, it's magical, right? So he has advantage. Uh, and I'm going to use a sorcery oh, yeah. point to re-roll re at least two of those dice. Uh, 32 oh. for the save. No, that doesn't make it. <laughs> uh, but you still take half damage. I'm just going to re-roll two of these. Got it. Cause, and cool. I forgot that last time. Oh, no. That's... No, but it's one better. So that's my. Uh, sorry. Four plus one plus plus <laughs> plus four for my other sorcery thing. So that's thirty-eight points of fire damage, half if you make it. Okay. Probably half again if you have something else. Oh. <laughs> I am down again. All right. No. Oh. <laughs> and then, I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna move back behind the tower again. <laughs> and also, can I climb up the tower? Uh, yeah. Can you I do spend like? Month. I'm gonna spend like then my because that is like ten feet. So I'm just gonna spend like twenty feet and climb up. Okay, uh, that tower's like 25 feet high, so you'll almost reach the peak of it. Almost reach peak, I'm just like hanging yeah. on, just like... Yeah. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Angering beings. Much more powerful than me. <laughs> Alright, uh, end of your turn. Bridget. With my perioptive wound closure, I stabilize. All right, stabilized. <laughs> and then, technically, I can, as an action, use my wholeness of body to regain 18 hit points. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> All right, <laughs> there you go. Nice. And then, as a bonus action, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Uh, I don't get a bonus action after that. I will do nothing. <laughs> I use my movement to stand. All right. Well, it's half movement to stand, so you still have half your movement if you want. I think I'm. I think I'm. Uh, you're. You're just like. Me. I just stand. All right. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Lorelei. Okay. It's a natural one. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Two that's failures. Two, two failures. Yay! Right. That's my turn. Alrighty. Um, 
All right, back to the top of the round. Oh my god. So this the horseman. Dick. This dick. Whoa, wait now. <laughs> the horseman's this gonna. This look nice. I know. Language. Come right there. Yeah, language. No. <laughs> this is a giant friendly stream. No, it's not. And he is going to uh, multi attack. So two great sword attacks against you. Oh, dear God. First one is twenty one. Uh, yeah, you're gonna kill me, so I might as well use my reaction to cast shield. Okay. So, so for one round. Okay, so that misses. All right. Bye, Blake. Bye, Blake. Bye, Blake. All right, so that one misses. Um, you can go watch Blake on the Murder Hobo stream. Yay! Donate, donate, donate. Twenty more dollars. Donate, yes. donate. And, no and then more dice. this this next one's twenty nine to hit. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Okay. Might as well just kill me now. Okay, so that one hits. So you take. Nine slashing damage. Well, I'm down. <laughs> I had nine. <laughs> All right. And 13 force damage, but you're already down. I'm already down. It's a, that was included in it, so. Got it. Whatever happens, we can't let the douchebag on the horse. <laughs> Go, <Ghost> sick! <laughs> it's all then, you. Kill him now! <laughs> <laughs> As you go down. I have. Oh no! He's gonna move over here, and yeah, his fine. <laughs> his fine. horse, his horse is going to let out a. Where is it at? Fire breath. He exhales deadly flames and a twenty foot cone in front of him. All targets within the cone must make a twenty or DC fifteen dexterity saving throw. I'm in the air. You are in the air. That's so I'm true. twenty feet up, and I'm also not directly. Do do what you want, but like yeah, no, he's ca he's catching this tower on fire. It's not aiming. That he can do. <laughs> he's just catching it on fire. <laughs> so this tower is on fire now. Fire. Still I don't... That's fine. It's still fire. Fine. Still fire. So he just breathes fire at the base of this turret or at the base of this tower, and ooh, that should not be on top. So now this tower is starting to go up in flames. Yep. And he, if I can select his token, thank you. He's going to use the rest of his movement right up here. And that's the end of his turn. So, Janara, your turn. Death save. That is a 15. All right. And afternoon naps. Hmm. We're going to jump down from the tower and kind of move over. Did, does that count as my movement or like a part of my movement to, to come down? Uh, I think if you just let go and drop 20 feet, yeah. uh, if you make like an acrobatics check to see if you land on your feet or if you like I'm fall a cat. Down. I always land on my feet. <laughs> You're a cat. It's the rule. Person. It's the rule. It's also 21. So. All right. Cats always land on their feet. Duh. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm gonna. I think it's on page twenty of the player's handbook or something. That makes sense. That makes a lot yeah. of sense. And I'm gonna go over here. All I'm right. Try chromatic orb again. Uh, make Probably a fail. dex saving throw. Okay. <laughs> That's a seven. Uh, so as you run up that way, you notice the dirt gets really not as heavy underneath your feet, and the floor just kind of gives way, and you fall into a pit trap. And... Yeah. Oh, fuck <laughs> it. Yeah, it's been there this whole time, but nobody stepped on it. <laughs> um, so you, you'll take... Let's see, where are the dice at? You'll take two bludgeoning damage as you fall. <laughs> Hey! So you're not dead, but you're at the bottom of a pit. It's not a deep oh, pit. Oh. Probably like 20 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet. Nah. Bent all my move. <laughs> so you're in a I'm hole. Gonna, I'm in a hole. So you're safe. 
to a degree. Moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's, okay, I have an action still. Uh, yeah, because you only moved. Yeah, yeah so. I only moved. So I'm going to cast message to the, <laughs> the fire horn. Be like, hey, hey, calm down. We can talk about this. <laughs> can I do anything for you? We can work together. <laughs> Make a persuasion roll at disadvantage. Oh, no. I feel like oh. this is what we all should have done to unite against <laughs> the horsemen, and then we should have started killing each other. That's the real thirteen. Answer. Thirteen. thirteen. That's a, this is. Um, you don't hear a reply back. <laughs> How rude! You hear the sounds of of war going on around you in battle, <laughs> and nothing. Oh no! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Bridget. I don't know. Was he keeping track of his stuff in here? Uh, yeah. No, he wasn't. I don't think so. So I don't know how many hit points he has or anything. He just said, I think he stabilized or like... abilities. Do with my body what you will. <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Okay. Blake is, Blake is over in the Murder Hobo stream, guys, which is starting here in eight minutes, so that's why he had to peace out. He's playing still for the Trevor Project, just with another group. All right, I guess uh, <laughs> he, I should, he's over stabilized, here. Yeah, yeah, and got up and stood up and oh, had what, right. like eight, eighteen? Yeah, yeah, I think eighteen hit points. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, I don't know what the armor class is um, or anything I else. Take from his comment, he used all of his key points. So okay, all right. <clears throat> so he'll just stand there. I don't know. <laughs> defensive, <laughs> pretty defensive. Be aggressive. Is, is giggling. There you go. All right. Um, Lorelei, your turn. You're lying on the ground, a little scorched. Fifteen. A little I'm still Woo! in two successes, two failures. Two successes. Oh, All right. Ah. <laughs> All right. And uh, now the horseman. And seeing no further threats, he's going to continue to ride up here. Um, until he catches that orc in his line of sight. And then he's going to halt and turn around and dash over here. Oh, good lord. And use a legendary action, a great sword. <laughs> That's messed up. Hey, I mean, <laughs> he just wants to kill, man. I know. Four plus... It's in his job description. 19? I don't know if that hits. I don't think it does. I have no idea. So... Swing and a miss. Um, and he's just going to stay in there. So, Janara. Death save. On a dice that I can see. Just you can give, do him, it. give him the link, Sig. Okay, yeah. Uh, that, no, that was an eight. Oof, fail. So, yep, one success, one failure. All right. <clears throat> um, afternoon nap. You're up. Oh, it's my turn. Um, I'm gonna climb up. All right, you... Hole. <laughs> you climb out of the pit. <laughs> Still in... Good... Since he didn't answer me, I'm taking it as, as a thing that he doesn't want to work with me. So I'm going to try Chromatic Orb again. Okay. A fail, which is a ranged spell attack. Eight. No, that no. Misses. Nine. <laughs> that misses. Yep. So <laughs> that fails. Can I jump back into the hole? <laughs> You can't if you want. I'm jumping back into the hole. <laughs> oh, the hole was like right over there. So you could jump back in. Amazing. Use the environment to your advantage. Exactly. That's true. <laughs> That's the best thing I've heard all day. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's just us chuckleheads too. This is amazing. Can I jump back into the hole? 
Who's <laughs> me giving up? I'm gonna make tomorrow's <laughs> STD temple <laughs> crawl look, look like <laughs> easy pickings. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I am. Oh, All right. I'm um, Loopy. Who else is Loopy? Let's do it. I'm Loopy too. Woo! All right. It's 1 a.m. Uh, Let's Bridget, go. Bridget's yeah. turn. Whee! So Bridget is going to uh, attack the, the pop, pop, horseman. Pop 14 plus. I have no idea what uh, her dex thing is. Four oh. plus proficiency. So it's got to be probably plus seven plus or eight at least. Se okay, seven. So plus seven. So that's 21, so that misses. And I guess... Uh, 21 misses? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I get uh, I can't disengage because I run out of key points. All right, and just stand there. Um, Lorelei, your turn. All right, let's see. And the decision. Natural 20! Ooh! Yay. Stabilized, and you're back to one. Oh my god! Okay, where you did it? Look at that. Do, See? Can I do I get an action this turn, or is that it? I think that's it. Just stabilizing yeah, is I, your action. But it's it's not the start of your turn. So you actually get an action. Uh, I think we talked about this in Critical Role, but I can't remember. Maybe. <laughs> it's up to you, Diamond. It. Yeah, it's up to you. I'll say sure, since at the start of your turn, why not? Okay. You get an action um, and bonus action in your movement. Since you are revived at the start of your turn. Okay, great. So, there's fire everywhere. Fuck this shit. Like, Shit's on fire, yo. Let's, let's go with bang. I'm gonna cast Tidal Wave. Uh, tidal Wave. <laughs> it's oh, a little oh. spell. It's a giant wave of... <laughs> and I'm gonna have it come crashing down on the horseman and sorry Blake on your character as well because they're like together it is uh, 30 feet long 10 feet wide and 10 feet tall I, I have a range of for it 120 feet so I assume I'm in range to hit the horse guy it is how big it's 30, uh, 30 feet, feet long feet and 10 long feet, feet wide feet tall. yeah and 10 feet wide yeah, I, I had that spell this morning, but I didn't get to use it because it was never like people were never in the line. Yeah. And ten feet wide. Good God. Yeah. I mean, is it hitting anyone else besides the horse dude? No, it's just the horse dude horse and the and um, horse dude, Blake, and the explosion that we started. And today. yeah, all of this fire. <laughs> okay, yeah, on the fire, the flames go out in the area where it is. And oh, the creatures have to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh no! <laughs> Fire is gone! <laughs> <laughs> and dexterity saving throw? Yeah. And it's m advantage with magical. Oh my god, that's still bad. Uh, oh, I don't know what Blake has. But we'll do just a 20. 12. So he has a 12 plus dexterity? Yeah. Saving throw? Probably 4, right? Plus 4? Yeah, it was plus 4. 16. He has a 16. And the horseman got 23. Okay, so they both make it. So they only take, so it was 21 bludgeoning damage. Half of that is. <sighs> Uh, eleven or ten? Okay, 10? ten. So they take ten points of bludgeoning damage, and the fire is put out. All right. Sadly, that's all it does. <laughs> that's all right. And yeah, the water spreads out, so it's like water. Yeah, the, the water. Yeah, it's watery. Spreads out. Like now, everything's wet. You gross. Um, and yeah, and I'll take motion with my bonus action and. Uh, I guess I'll even get further away from, like, the horseman and everything. <laughs> Just somewhere. But I do want to stay within 120 feet if, like, that would be a problem. Okay. I think, yeah, if you just walk... If you just walk, like, straight back, or even, like, down towards... Yeah. 
So, yeah, just put me somewhere. Twenty, or you just want to walk straight back? You want to go yeah. towards the tents again, or? Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's go to the tents. Okay. But I'm still within one hundred feet of the horse. Yeah. Man, right. Okay. You cool. are. Yeah. You are. Um. Uh, hundred feet. Hundred feet ish away from him. Yeah. Perfect. I'll see okay. you. <laughs> All right. Yay. End of your turn. The horseman's gonna go. He's gonna multi-attack the this monk with his great sword. Two. That, that doesn't hit, I don't think. Plus 15. Yeah, that doesn't hit. Or oh, wait. No, 17. No, that doesn't hit. And then 14, so 29. That hits. Oh. And I'm guessing it just kills him. Or yeah. at least takes him down. So he is now dead. No. No. First casual. First casual. Sorry, Blake. I was going for the horse, man. He but just like... stabs his great sword through, kind of lifts the body up, and then just flicks it off of his blade as if he's like flicking, like, you know, flicking his blade clean. Oh. And then picks, mm. picks his head up, looks around, and he begins to. Uh, uh, he's going to ride back up this way. Since he's not sure where the water came from, but right now there's no real threat in the area, so he's gonna, just going to ride off. And that's his turn. So, Janara. Okay, one and one. That is a, another failure with five. Oh, yeah. no. oh yes! <laughs> Got to going down, kids! Yeah. All right, uh, afternoon nap. Yeah, um, I'm in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> the cat's yep. in the hole. You the cat's are. in the hole. The cat is not out of the bag. Um, <laughs> I am gonna... I'm gonna stay here and I'm gonna look at the scroll, like, use my action to look at the scroll properly. Okay. All right, so you look at the scroll, and it is a spell scroll for power word stun. Uh, <laughs> you killed Haley. Um, the most maniacal fucking thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I'm gonna then spend my movement to like climb up and like look out of the hole and seeing the horseman, I'm gonna like put my head down and just like hang there until my until like turn it. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna hang there until my next turn. All right, end of your turn. Hang in there. Not to be seen. Lorelei, it's your turn again. Yay. Uh, actually, uh, how far away am I from Janara? Uh, do I see? Her body somewhere lying. Um, uh, seventy feet. Seventy feet. So you're pretty far away from her. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Seventy. Can I like? Hmm. Is there a way for me to like move closer to her without the horseman noticing? <laughs> uh, you could stealth towards her if you want. And and hope right. that he doesn't see her or he doesn't see you. Right. It doesn't look like his attention's really on on this battlefield that much anymore. Okay. Okay. Before he sits, so um. Mm. Oh yeah, I think. Oh. All right. That's that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to get to her as unnoticed as possible. Uh. I move at sixty. I move sixty feet this turn for my action. Towards her. Yeah, towards her. Okay. But like when I like, I also want to like if there's cover somewhere close to her where I can hide, that's why I'll hide because I cannot reach her this turn. So like, if there's a hiding place close to her, I want to like move there and then wait. Okay. So we'll put you like underneath behind a tree. Yeah. Um. Behind that tree that's just to the south of the cart. And so now you're about 25 feet away from her. 
Uh, okay, and it's my movement and my action, so. Uh, so anything yeah, you want to do in this action, or? Uh, I mean, sure, I'll cast a cantrip, Shillelagh. <laughs> Damn. All because right. Because why not? Shillelagh, and yeah, and that's it. <laughs> All right, so on the horseman's turn, he's going to continue to ride out, and he's going to dash... Dash away, dash away. Dash his way on off out of the map. Mm. So, Janara, your turn. Oh, boy. Can you dig it? <gasps> oh, no. The two. Oh, no. oh. I am dead. Oh no. She went down as she would want to, fighting the giant monster. <laughs> oh, I was gonna heal you on the next turn. I am dead. Fizzle sticks. It was a good one. Did you do you still have the noose around your neck? Yeah. Uh roll two D twenty. The fuck? <laughs> Uh, two and a ten. Okay. <laughs> what the shit? So, a DC ten, the hangman's noose activates, and once a character oh. is permanently dead, they come back to life with one hit die worth of HP. Fuck a duck, as Julio would say. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so the hangman's the hangman's noose just de it just evaporates from your neck, and as it does, it kind of melts into you and revitalizes oh, you. That's messed up. Holy is, shit! I got three hit points, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and you, so you are back awake. <laughs> wake up. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah. So it's it's your turn. Oh, okay. Um, that was at the start of your turn, so. Uh, I have no idea where he went. I don't know what's going on. Because I was unconscious and then I was dead. And now I'm not dead. We've all been there before. We've been there before. It's yeah. Uh, do I see. I see, I see the cat, correct? Uh, I am in out? the hole. You're in the hole, that's right. So I don't He's in the hole. Lorelai is behind the tree, and uh, Bridget is over here. Bridget is. And, the, and everywhere around you is wet. And, like, uh, yeah. moist. And it smells like burned gunpowder and wet burned gunpowder. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, do I see Lorelai? Um, make a perception check. And Lorelai, did you make a stealth check to hide from the horseman? Oh, no, I did not. Make a stealth check and we'll we'll do like a little... Okay. See if you can hide. Uh, I got a 21. Um, okay, I got an 18 or something, so... Okay, so you're able to see her robe yeah. peeking out from behind 17. the tree trunk. Okay, I guess this I mean, is what we're doing. I'm coming after you. I mean, can we talk outside of our turn? Just, like, say something to each other? Or is that not I mean, okay? You can, you can yell, yeah, if you want to try and yell at her or something. I mean, I was going to say, I propose we form a truce and take out the horseman first, because he's going to kill all of us anyway if we don't work together. I don't know that that's I can heal you. That works, and I take three attacks against her. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> okay, <no. laughs> Pop, pop, bonus action, pop. Alright, I mean, oh, dude, that's a natural fucking 20. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like down, like. How many hit points did you have? I have six hit points. Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that is, oh, God, 24 points of slashing damage. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> I just turn the glaive around and I try to cut her head off. Oh god! All right, so brutal. I know. You coup de gras, Lorelei, and 
You just yeah. dig your glaive right into her throat and just separate the vertebrae, the vertebrae from the back of her neck with this. You just oh, hear pop. She's, she's not wearing the huh? hangman. You're not yeah. wearing. I'm not. No, no, either. I'm not wearing it. I spidered out of it. I knew I should have just stayed a spider the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> they I never would have known. I would have been fine, and now I'm headless. <laughs> what right. what can you do? Julia, I love you. And I'm gonna use the rest of I my love you too. and run back. Oh, oh good. I thought you were gonna Sam, you're gonna use my head. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna kick your head for a few minutes. I thought about it. I thought about tying it to my belt, and then I thought that might oh, be too brutal. You should have <laughs> I'm oh, I like you too. Count. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, cat. What you got? All right. Uh, afternoon nap. It's your turn. Uh, no looking corner. out of the hole, seeing this go down. Um, gonna like try and like sneak up so I can cast. A I'm gonna try and use the spell scroll. Oh. As the barbarian. Oh my god. But you need to tell me what to do because I have no idea. Uh, make an arcana check with disadvantage. Since you don't know the spell. Oh, that's a arcana. Oh, that's an 11, I think. It's an 11. I think right. my arcana is minus 1. It is. It's minus 1. Oh no. So it's an 11. It's an 11. So as you go, you open the scroll and you start to read it. And you're reading through, and it, you lose yourself in the movements and everything of the spell. And as you're casting it, the runes start to light up on the paper. And you see the paper start to dissolve, and your hands start to glow. This magical energy. And then, mm -hmm. as you like direct it towards Genera, it just fizzles out. As if you're not, you're not able to control this magic, and it just yep. fizzles. And since nothing worked, I don't think she's seen me. I'm going back into the hole. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Solid strategy. Yeah. Yeah. Hole strategy. Nothing works. Like, I, I, I don't think I made it. I tried to not make a sound. I am far away. There's uh, like a ledge. But I'm, I'm coming down and I'm just like staying there. Top tip stay in the hole. <laughs> Top tip stay in the hole. It works fine. <laughs> All right. Don't hole. come out of the hole, guys. <laughs> Don't come out of the hole. Yeah. Mara, your turn. Um, sure. I will. Yep, if we're going to do it, I'm going to move up there. And I have five more feet. I'm going to stand there, and I'm going to throw a javelin at the cat. <laughs> All right, well, she has probably half cover, so. Sure. Yep. I'm just, I can't get within reach, so why not? Half cover means what again? Um, I think it's, let me see, add, here we go, 5th edition. Half cover, you get plus 2 bonus to your AC. Okay. That is an 18 to hit. Plus 2, that doesn't hit. Okay. Ooh. Alright, Ooh. so it just goes wide. Yep. Alright. Um, Alright, is there anything else you want to do? Bonus action? I have two attacks. <laughs> Can try again. Yeah, I'm going to. Might as well. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh. She would do it. That's a 22. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to cast shield. And, uh, there you go. <laughs> uh. So, no. <laughs> uh. I still have a healing potion. I have one left. I'm going to take it as my bonus, and that'll be my turn. All right. Yep. Afternoon Afternoon nap. Your turn. Uh, I am... Javelin's just got thrown at you while you're down in your safe hole. Yeah, I'm coming out of the hole, and I'm going to... Uh-oh, that's oh. a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad I think idea. it's the top tip. And, yeah, and I'm going to try and... Ca I'm going to try, <laughs> emphasis on try, to cast the chill touch. Chill touch? Yeah, it's a 15. It's not going to hit. That is yeah. my AC because my rage went away when I died. 
Oh. Yeah. I get to actually do <laughs> seven points of necrotic damage. I am still alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! But I'm gonna probably gonna die next turn. Um. You still have your bonus action. Have a, do you have a healing potion? I have a healing potion. <laughs> I have one healing potion, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna down that now. Normal 2d2 plus 2. I know this. I've been playing DD for a while now. Oh my gosh. Totally. <laughs> like, I've totally played DD for like longer than you have. So, like, like longer than you've been alive. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Gosh darn so... millennials. Jeez. <laughs> gosh. Gary Gygax didn't create this game so millennials could ruin it. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have all is that the end of your turn? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my turn. <laughs> all right, Janara, your turn. Last two ancestry points to quicken a uh, another chaos bolt to fling it at you for a bonus action. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't spell you guys. I'm a barbarian. A and guiding so- bolt. No, chaos guiding? bolt. Or... Oh, chaos bolt. Chaos. Oh, okay, I heard fire bolt. No, I heard guiding bolt. It like, yeah. Uh, that's a nineteen. I'm gonna cast shield again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, that burns that. I'm gonna spend my remaining. Yeah. Not a bad issue. Oh I'm my god. And take two attacks on you. Oh. Oh. Snap. oh. <laughs> but shield is still up. Shield is up for a turn. Reckless. So. I would do it reckless. Oh, wow. You, you can cast a spell and do two attacks in one turn? Uh-huh. I'll OP tell you what that means later. What yeah. the? Yeah. Ancestral yeah. barbarian. Ancestral what the fuck you are later on? Barbarian, yep. Oh, God. Yeah, they're dope. They're pretty dope. Yeah, that is a, uh, oh, God, math. 18. Nope. And then, so the first one whips. Oh that God. is a natural 17 plus 8, 25. That hit. That is. Okay. So. Not raging, so no plus 2 on the rage damage. Damage. Uh, 17 points Damage. Of slashing damage. Radiant damage, sorry. Radiant damage. Oh, math, math, math. Uh, 17. 17. Right? Yep. I'm up. What? Whoa! <laughs> I have taken, okay, remember, I've taken very little damage, and I've taken a greater and a normal healing This is true. Yeah. I stayed away for most of it. <laughs> In a hole. In a hole, <laughs> and on a, a, a tower. Is that your That's, yeah, I was just checking, that's it. Alright. Afternoon nap. And then I have advantage on my shrucking grass. Yes, you do. Because you did reckless. Uh-huh. That's a 24. Yeah, that's going to hit for sure. Nine points of lightning damage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Genera drops. Yep. All right. So she has to roll. No, and that's my... I have no bonus actions. I don't think... I can cast Expedition Retreat as a bonus action. Uh, no. <laughs> Just to be sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that because I cast a spell. Um, you could yeah, jump that's... back into the hole. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I'm the only one left standing now. I can actually do stuff. Yeah, that's my turn. All right. Roll your death saves. <laughs> Am I rolling death saves, DM? Yeah, roll a death save. Natural 20. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> well, so Denora falls, <laughs> and then as if like Janara sees the image of her ancestors, just like don't give up. You could do this. You got this. And with that, her eyes come back, bloodshot, blood dripping. <laughs> Janara, you're back up. You're back up to one hit point. Hey, people, what the- maybe you should donate to the Trevor Project for this awesome stream. <laughs> people keep rolling natural 20s when I try to kill them. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, Janera, you're at one hit point lying on the ground. Oh, and you it is put your that turn. On turn. <laughs> Half my movement. Keep rolling natural 20s when I'm trying to kill. Nay, that's per- you know what? I was thinking about merch. That might have to be our first shirt. <laughs> What? What? That. I was thinking about doing merch for the group. What would the shirt be? Uh, what did you say, Julia? People keep rolling natural 20s when I try to keep... <laughs> yeah, that's why I was shouting. <laughs> no, I thought our first shirt was gonna be... Uh, what, was it? what was it you said, oh, Chris? What was, um, what was that? Uh, undead are my favorite dream. Oh, undead, undead are my dead favorite dream. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can do both! <laughs> I might do it. I might do it. Two shirts. Okay, so oh God, I need both I have of them. One hit point. Sure. You gonna, have one hit point, right. but you have your turn. I'm gonna and I'm right next to you. Two, you can stand up. I'll and stand then... up. Take two attacks as my action, and then pop you with the end of the blade as my bonus. And I'm gonna do them all fucking reckless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going out. Oh my I'm going God. <laughs> That is a uh, twenty-three to hit. I'm mm. <laughs> cast shield, but that has, that's like exactly twenty-three, so it wouldn't help. So no, I'm not going to do that yet. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is a natural eighteen plus eight, twenty-six. That will also hit. And the pop with the end of the glaive is another natural eighteen, so a twenty-six. Jesus. Yeah, she's a beast. If I'm not down by this, you have to roll really, really terribly. <laughs> <laughs> one, but one, I have one. the news on, I should mention. I never took that off. You what? I know you do. Oh, yeah, she, she still yeah. has the news on. So I still that's have it on. nine on the first. Yeah. Uh, 16 on the second. And three, oh, she's down, down. She's down on I'm the down. second. I'm down on the okay. second. So if you I hit her, I mean, you hit her with the third, that's an automatic death say or death yeah. fail. Yeah, I hit her with the third for, yeah, yes. for ten. So you have one automatic death fail. Yep. Or is it two? I can't remember. I think it's just one, right? Isn't it two because it's technically, it is, it's I'm lying prone and it's, it's Oh, it's an auto crit. So it's two. Yeah. yeah, so it's two. And also so you had a bonus attack, so I'm immediately dead because that would also take two. That's no, the bonus, the bonus attack was the... The fail because you went down on her second attack. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Okay. So the bonus attack was two death fails. Yeah. Don't fail your death save, Sigrid. <laughs> or you know, well, maybe, maybe do. <laughs> Mom, let's do it. <laughs> maybe I'll roll a natural twenty. Might, that would be really funny. <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> nope, that's a six. Oh! All right, so you fail that one. But I have the news on. I know. Yep. So roll two d twenty. So ridiculous. Two d twenty. Yes. That's two and an eleven. All right. Two. Eleven. The noose dissolves into your neck, and you are back one hit die. <gasps> I'm six hit points, guys. Oh my god. I'm a squishy sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> With really high AC. All right, and it's your turn. My turn? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this you things, yeah, you did things reckless, right? I did. No way. Oh. What? Huh? I have I have one third level spell left. But that would require Are you gonna fireball yourself? <laughs> no. That was thinking I have to get away, but if I get away, you'll get an attack of opportunity and you'll you probably hit. She will. might miss. You she never know. I, ca- I can cast shield. It's all or nothing. Yep, I'm gonna do it. I'm an <gasps> idiot. Um yes. <gasps> it's half cost. Half past two in the morning. You got this. I have had two glasses. I'll... Um, okay. Yeah, I'm Alcoholic moving. Alcoholic beverages. <laughs> oh, come yeah, on, baby. I'm, I'm coming. Come on, baby. Uh, okay. So, yeah. yeah liquid courage. Dirty 20 to hit you. I'm going to cast shield. That makes my Ow! armor class 23. <laughs> and I'm going to cast a fireball at your vicinity. Yes! So. Oh, you're going to kill me. I have one hit point. Yeah. Yeah, I'm overkilling this because yeah. I don't want you. You don't want me to come back. <laughs> you don't, don't want to roll your death save. She could roll another t- 20. She could. She could. She really could. I am could use my You have for, like, to cut nothing. her head off. That's the only way to kill her. <laughs> the only way to like, cut her head off. You have my to put a stake through her heart. 
a medium a medium rare steak though, not oh. like a wooden one, just medium rare. Maybe well done. Yeah, I, yeah twenty-two points of damage. How? Wow. All right. Okay. So you yeah, go down again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's my turn. So Janara, roll a death save. Three. All right. So that's a failure. Afternoon nap. I'm gonna use my crossbow and fire a bolt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stay down. Target practice. And it's a disadvantage because she's prone. <laughs> Target practice. It's sixteen. You can't just go up and like cut her. I can. That would be boring, wouldn't it? Okay. All right. <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> All right, that hits. <laughs> Twelve piercing damage. So that's an auto crit. So that's two death saves, yep, right? Or and I am no, it is out. out. So, I mean, she's is dead. Is it an auto crit? It's an auto crit. When it's you an auto crit if you hit. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. I am dead, 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 friends. All right. All hail the victory. Join the club. The last one standing. <laughs> that was not how it was supposed to go. <laughs> 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 That's so ridiculous! Oh my god, oh. I'm broken. I'm broken. <laughs> so you hear this this oh, gong again, in uh, as this as this fight comes to an end, an afternoon nap. You just look up and you look around at all this chaos and everything, and you just kind of feel welcomed by it. And then you start materializing again, and you're back in this citadel. And standing before or before you are the same three figures, hooded figures that you saw before. And up behind you, this time not on his horse, uh, just standing, uh, walks in war. And he takes his greatsword and places it out with both hands. And he says, um, the legacy is yours. Continue it or don't. It is up to you. Do you have something other than the grace, the grace sword? Because I am not proficient to it. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> Do you ask him that? Yeah. Or... <laughs> This weapon will take the shape of whatever its wielder is better at in combat. Good. Uh, take this one. All right. So you take the sword. Um, let me see. Where's share? There we go. Share. Shareable link. <laughs> so you now have. Let me post it in here. Fuck a duck. Fuck a duck. Or Fuck a sky duck. sword. Ooh. Whoa. It is a legendary weapon that acquires attunement. Um, and it'll take the shape of whatever you're proficient at, whatever weapon you're proficient at. Right now it's a, yeah. a great sword. But once yeah. you do it, it'll take this shape. So this blood-soaked blade has seen the rise and fall of several kingdoms and has quenched its thirst in countless battles across the plains. You gain a plus two bonus to damage and attack rolls made with this magic weapon. When you hit with an attack using this weapon, you deal an additional 1d6 force damage. When a character awakens War's Greatsword, apply the following changes to the item's traits. The bonus to damage rolls is increased to plus three. Uh, the, the damage bonus to striking a creature increases to 1d8. Persuasion rolls made within 60 feet have disadvantage. When you drop a creature to zero hit points with an attack using this weapon, you can immediately make an additional melee attack with this weapon as a bonus action. Exalted, when a character exalts War's Greatsword, apply the following changes to the item's traits. The bonus to damage rolls and attack rolls increases to plus four. The damage bonus to striking a creature uh, increases to 2d6. 
And when you score a critical hit with this weapon, all enemies within 30 feet must make a DC 18 wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the enemies can only spend their next action making melee attacks against the wielder. If this saving throw is successful, they become immune to this effect for the next 24 hours. Oh. Holy shit. That was what it was. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And with that, you take it and it morphs into a what? crossbow. Crossbow. A light crossbow. All right. It morphs into a light crossbow. And just as you look back up, the horseman just nods and turns around and walks back down the stairs. And then a gong sounds and you start to dematerialize again. And you rematerialize where you were when you first started feeling that static. And actually all of you rematerialize back where you were when you felt that static in the back of your head. And it, you just look around and it's as if nothing happened. It was just kind of like an odd dream. But you're there. You're alive. Everything's just back to normal. Yay! Do I, I have I'm a still... new crossbow? What? Do I have the new crossbow or like, the weapon? Yeah. Yeah, when I, yeah, when I Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's still in your hand. Yeah, Lorelei is back to normal to being in an underground dungeon, <laughs> staring down a disgusting fetus monster. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, yeah. That's so normal. It's so normal. <laughs> it's so normal. <laughs> oh, uh, hail the victor! Yay! 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 Congrats, Zeke! So you much did it. Oh my god, that was way too much fun. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh my yeah. god. I was kind of surprised that one of you didn't like just stay in the noose for a while. <laughs> like one of you just, just like, nope, oh, fuck it, wild shape. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, that's right. <laughs> I tell me I should have just stayed a spider, should have just hang out somewhere. Just, yeah. <laughs> Hang out, this? hang out in my pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I probably would have done that if I hadn't exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we know who's to blame for that. I was I was originally going to put all of your guys' equipment in those boxes, that and have you guys funny. like mm. yeah all hanging but with no equipment. Well, but I was like, no, nah, that's too slow. <laughs> All right. Um, well, yeah, I think we're. Thank you guys. Woo! Thank you guys. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Thanks everybody for watching. Okay. Yeah, we're back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time for our regular campaign. Yeah. yeah. And we'll see Ooh. what uh, the Sunken Temple of Ayun <laughs> has in store for the SD. Yes, I'm very excited. Yes. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Eggs. And. Eggs. Eggs showed up this morning. You guys have to watch Eggs. it if you didn't get to see it. It was fucking hysterical. I um, have to watch it. Like, my phone was not up to streaming it. it I have to watch it. so amazing. Thank you guys again. We're up to 680. Can we get to maybe 750 before tomorrow? So close. It would be really cool. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you again. Uh, we really appreciate you. We love all of you. Um, and thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye.